Hey guys, Big Anthony here. It is Saturday, April 3rd, 2021. And what I want to do this morning is, um, let's make sure my mic's on, yes. What I want to do this morning is do this test with the Jackery Explorer 1000. I want to see if we could boil up some water in this Proctor Silex electric kettle. I'll put the link to this in the description box. This is the second major test I want to do with this Jackery uh, 1000. The first test I did was my Dometic refrigerator, which you guys have seen some videos on my channel. Uh, that was successful. It ran it for three days plus. I know it could have done even more. And so um, this morning I wanted to put 12 ounces of water, you know, enough to make a brew, make a tea, a hot chocolate, a coffee, etc. Uh, reconstitute a meal, make some oatmeal. Boiling water is probably the primary thing that I do in the van because it encompasses so many things. So if I could do that off the Jackery, running off the battery successfully without lighting my stove, it's a it's a win-win for me. So let's put um, some water in the uh, pot. And so I have a measuring cup here so you guys could see that uh, I am putting 12 ounces of water in. Okay. <clears throat> you guys can see that. So this just has a, a wide cavity there. It's got an adjustable knob, warm to boil, uh, a plug. And uh, so I'll put the water in. The, the kettle does work. I tested it inside, boiled up some water using uh, regular power, shore power. Uh, just snap the lid back on. I will turn on the Jackery. It's fully charged. So I'll turn on the AC port. The battery's at 99%. When you turn on the AC port, it pulls a couple of watts, I guess with the inverter and all the mechanisms inside. Uh, so you got a pure sine wave inverter uh, in this unit. And so it's gonna deliver the power that you need. So let's uh, plug in the uh, kettle and the fan kicks on, okay? And what I'll do is I'm gonna turn up the it's registering 843 watts right now. I got it turned up halfway. Battery's at 98%. It's 9.38 a.m., so it's been on there for about 30 seconds. So you guys are watching this with me the same. I haven't done this yet. I haven't tested it. I don't know what's going to happen, so I just want to see if I could boil up some water and how much battery it would use, if it's practical to do it. Again, we're pulling 843, 41, 42, over 800 watts right now through the Jackery. The fan is on, keeping the, the uh, inverter cool and the circuitry cool. I'm going to lift the lid on this just to see what we look like. Yeah, we've already got bubbles in there. The 12 ounces is already... Uh, bubbling. I turn the knob up a little bit. <clears throat> so I turn it to boil and see what happens if it changes anything. 96% battery, 840 watts. Got it up to boil, 9.39 a.m. So it's been on less than two minutes. So guys, these are, uh, you know, real world tests that I want to do in the van because if I could successfully, you know, run the refrigerator, right now the refrigerator is running off the solar in the van with the bat battery under the bed. So during the day, that refrigerator runs beautifully on the van as long as there's sun and I got power in that battery. 
and then you're, you know, if I'm making breakfast or something, 99% of the time I'm going to have oatmeal or I have to boil water up. So if it's practical to do that, I could boil extra water and um, make a cup of hot, make a hot beverage, have my, my oatmeal, put some fruit on it, some nuts and seeds, and boom, you got breakfast. Um, the next thing we're going to test in another video is the skillet, the electric skillet, to see if I could make, you know, eggs, scrambled eggs, stuff like that, uh, off the battery as well. So the battery's at 95%, and we've got, I think we've got a boil here. Yep. 9.40 a.m., and we've got a boil. I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to shut the AC off. We used a few percentage points on the battery to do that. So it went from 99 to 94 percent. I'll show you the battery. And we've got hot boiling water from a Proctor Silex uh, teapot. We could go ahead now take our beverage container. I like to keep my stuff in this like airtight sealed container with a little button on top. And uh, let's have a uh, Starbucks, have a Starbucks Via. Guys, that was uh, very impressive for just a, um, a couple of watts of power. And I got myself boiling water. That's, that's big, big time without having to light my stove. So that's a, a successful test, I would call it. And um, get my spoon out. Got my little chuck box here. One of my spoons. Stir that up. And uh, there you have it, guys. It's, it's hot, super hot. The Jackery performed flawlessly. Again, you can see here, it's at 94%. It was at 99 when I started the test. It took about, you know, about three minutes. And um, we boiled up some water. Um, so what I would do, if you give you some advice, if you're going to use this to boil water in that Proctor Silex, uh, tea kettle, boil extra water, keep a, a, a thermos on board, like a Stanley thermos. Use the water that you need, uh, say for your coffee, maybe you want to have your oatmeal later. You could put your oatmeal in the thermos, the wide mouth thermos with the boiling water, lid it off, you know, cap it off. The oatmeal will cook up in there in about a half hour you've got your meal. Any other extra water you could put in another thermos, save it for later. To use for another beverage. That way, you're not having to continually, you know, plug in the the Proctor Silex uh, tea kettle into the Jackery and continually, you know, use power. So um, that's something I do. It's you know, thermos cooking. You could cook a lot of things in a wide mouth thermos, uh, and then you can keep boiling water in the thermos, hot water in the thermos uh, all day, and um, also use it for, you know, washing your hands later on when it warms down a little bit wash your face, you know, take a, a, you know, some type of shower, you know, wash your dishes with. So that's just a little tip that I want to give you on that. So uh, that's the video this morning, guys, I wanted to do on this. Uh, again, I'll put this in the description box. I think it was, I think it was under 20 bucks, 15 or 20 bucks. I saw it on another channel. Uh, uh, a gentleman used it and, um, I wanted to see if it would work with the Jackery, and it and it does, and so I'm really happy about that. Knowing that I can go off grid with this battery, and use an electric appliance like that is is really really big for me. Um, again, if I'm inside the van, and I have the door shut, I don't want to open the doors. I want to cook inside. Maybe I don't want to light the stove. I could plug this in and boil the water electrically, and um, do the same thing. So that's that's big, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Questions, comments, let me know. 
But uh, this is Anthony. Again, it's uh, Saturday, April 3rd, 2021. We did the boil water test with the electric tea kettle, and it was successful with the Jackery Explorer 1000. Anthony signing off. Take care and stay ready.